We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Kaelan. I didn't expect... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name? I'm not afraid of your human lord. <laughs> You've got yourself a lively one, Duncan. And I was beginning to think the Wardens were all stodgy priests. I see you're an elf, friend. From where do you hail? From one of the other. One of your alienates, nature. Tell me, how is it there? My guards all but forbid me going there. Yeah, probably for the reason. I killed all son for raping my friend. You... Okay. What? Your Majesty, I would not have put it so bluntly. There are events in Denerim you should be aware of. So it seems. I will hear more about this matter later. But for now, we have a war to attend to. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Uh-huh. Sounds like slightly so was all right. You better sound very confident. Overconfident, that. some would say. Right, Duncan? Yes. <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not certain the blight can be ended quite as quickly as you might wish. Yeah. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we see no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell. Great Wardens. What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. But... He didn't seem to take Darkspawn very seriously. Mm, true. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn Horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an Archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the King to act solely on my feeling. Why not? What would you have to do? You could if he were not, not, not such a fool. You must not speak of the King, so He is... Over-eager, perhaps, but he is also one of the few Grey Warden allies. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can, and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. A hot meal would be nice, bro. What do you mean, what ritual? Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining, in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. Why is this ritual? The joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. No, there are two other recruits here already. They have been waiting for us to arrive. 
Do you need Feel to free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you are ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge should you need to. Hey, well, you must be the Grave Warden recruit that Duncan brought. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Good luck to you, then. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. It's better to it. I suppose I do. Though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Loghain sees the King whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles. But the King just waves him off. The King wants to end the Blight with a single huge battle the Bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the King wants in the end, though. The King thought it was funny that Terran called him reckless. And they fought about the Queen. To the Terran's daughter, no less. Ah, he wasn't okay. happy about something she did or the King did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. As you wish. You approach the tent of Terran Loghain. State your business. How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Loghain, you can bet the King wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. Perfect. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the King have been arguing for days. The Tern's known the King since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Tern speaks his mind, and the King yells right back. Personally, I think the King should do what Tern Logang tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. Hold on, then. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? The Wardens are impressive, but not as relevant as Kalen thinks. You're pretty for a Grey Warden. Don't let anyone tell you that you don't belong. The first Warden Marek brought to Ferelden was a woman, the best warrior I've ever seen. Okay. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? Here for the glory, huh? Fair enough. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. Then simply pray. Hmm. This isn't good. I hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Yogi. 
Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? Maybe. There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood red center. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. We stand here in this hour, well met. good folk of Ferelden, and we contemplate the death that may await. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the maker in the land beyond the Fade, he shall not find you wanting. Go not into death gladly, but with the knowledge that evil has been held at bay by your spilled blood. And if you go to stand beside the maker, go with our blessing for you shall not be forgotten. My friends, let us bow our heads and remember those who have fallen and those who have yet to fall. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her <laughs> I will not be <laughs> harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. <laughs> Your glibness does you no credit. Uh, here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The grumpy one. Uh, enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. Small thing. You know, one good thing about the blight is how it brings people together. <laughs> it's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Would that make your day worse? Hardly. I just like to know my chances of being turned into a toad at any given moment. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit. The elf from Denerim. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. Duncan sent word. He spoke quite highly of you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alistair, the new Grey Warden. Though I guess you knew that. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Right, that was the name. You know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Wardens. I wonder why that is. What more we mean <laughs> about it, do you? Uh, probably because we had to start smart for you. I can handle herself better than most. But you stop thinking me as a woman. Probably because we had to smart for you. True, but if you're here, what does that make you? Okay. Incredibly unlucky. Ouch! Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. If there's some texture problems here. With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. You may mage hunter. Not that that's all Templars do, but yes. The Chantry raised me until Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger. And the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along.
Apparently, they didn't get the same speech. Yeah. You don't have to accompany me, you do. Don't worry. I'll try not to embarrass you. Davith and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? Keep an eye out. Maybe we'll see one of them. I look forward to you do? everything with you. Huh. That's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Yeah, I don't know about this texture problem here. Maker above, hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. We who betrayed your father. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sir Jory, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this here is Davith, a fellow from Denerim. Charmed, my lady. Uh, <laughs> and this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said Maybe he was not, bringing. Probably. That's me, the new girl. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading I into the Kokari yeah. Wilds to perform I, I two this tasks. Game as well. <laughs> the first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. For the joining itself. I'll explain more once you've returned. Apparently Twitch, Twitch chat doesn't want to... Or well, yeah. Streamlabs desktop doesn't want to show... The chat from the, from the YouTube for some reason. You weren't recruited out of charity. All three of you are skilled and resourceful. Alistair is the most junior member of our order and will accompany you as is tradition. Do not worry. I doubt you will need to go far into the wilds to find what you seek. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. And what if they are no longer It's there? possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities. With so many having forgotten their commitments to us, I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Hail! I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight.
Greetings. It is good to finally have a moment to speak with you. I hail from Redcliffe, but Duncan recruited me in Hyover, a city off the northern coast. Have you traveled there? I'm only curious. I was in Arleman's retinue when he attended King Marek's funeral. It was in Hyover that I met my Helena. I was smitten. She has the most beautiful eyes, my Helena. Now, for years, I found any excuse to return there. We married a year ago. Arl Eamon gave me leave to serve in Hyover, but I was attempting to persuade Helena to come to Redcliffe with me, at least until I was recruited. So you have been dead. Never. I will return to her once my duty is done and the Blight defeated. Last month, Duncan visited Hyover, and the Ban held a tournament in his honor. I won the Grand Melee. It was hard to leave my wife. We married only a year ago, and she is heavy with child now. But... Ferelda needs my blade, and I shall not falter. He has a seemingly impossible task, with a scarce handful of Grey Wardens, yet he does not complain or flinch from his duty. Indeed. So, you're the one we spent all that time waiting for, hmm? I grew up in a village about a day's trip to the east. Little blot you wouldn't even find on a map. Haven't been back in years. I struck out for the city as soon as I could outrun my pa. I've been in Denerim for, what, six years now? Never liked it much, but there's more purses there than anywhere else. You heard the same speech I did. Blood and old treaties. Off we go into the wilds. I found them. 
I cut Duncan's purse while he was standing in a crowd. He grabs my wrist, but I squirm out and bolt. The old bugger can run, but the garrison caught me first. I'm a wanted man in Denerim, you see, so they were going to string me up right there. Duncan stopped them, invoked the right of conscription. I gave the garrison the finger while I was walking yeah. away. Don't know why Duncan wants someone like me, but he says finesse is important and that I'm fast with a blade. <laughs> you bet your boots I am. Besides, it beats getting strung up. <laughs> hey, I'm following you, aren't I? All right, then. As you say. It shall be done. One tech tactic could be like hit and run. More ducks. Born. Close by. Drill. More dark spawn. Close by. No thrill.
quiet while. first like I would say hard but uh, like situation where you you need to actually play the game more dark spawn close by you know, drill begun. Okay, so it's in this button here. Focusing extra flask, death root flask. I need to flash for the poison.
It is begun. The looting has begun. Very well. Well, well, what have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder come into these dark spawn filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? Interesting old fit. What say you? Hmm? Scavenger or intruder? I'm neither grave partner of all this tower or intruder. Tis a tower no longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. <laughs> She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? Nope. You there. Women do not frighten like little boys. <laughs> Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Now that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Twas my mother, in fact. Mother. Hmm. There is a sensible request. <laughs> I like you. I'd be careful. First it's, I like you, but then zap. Frog time. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing. Least of all, believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your elven mind give you a different viewpoint? What do you believe? <laughs> you are crazy, possibly dangerous. I believe you have something we need. They did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, <laughs> you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Either the threat is more, or they realize less. Or perhaps the threat is nothing. <laughs> Or perhaps they realize nothing. 
Oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Yep. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. stable for now but not improving unless I get that herb I told you about there's not much hope let me see oh, yeah that's exactly it wonderful now, give me a moment and I'll make this into an ointment <laughs> he looks better already I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could a day maybe two there's enough ointment for him to make a full recovery why not come back after the battle perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing him. Mabari are at least as smart as your average tax collector. Come back after the battle and just... Or take another look. Okay. So you return from the wilds. Have you been successful? Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. As could any darkspawn you might face in battle. You would not have been chosen, however, if I did not think you had a chance to survive. Let's go, then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I'm shame I'm the bravest one here. I, and I, I only know that my to... wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... it okay, just doesn't seem fair. Uh, Would you have come issues. if they warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the blight. You both yes, that. sir, knight. Try not to wet your trousers until the ritual starts. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... Da -da. Those creatures... As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. Some sort of this is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Those who survive. Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Pallister, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. 
Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. Child, there is had I no known turning back. No, you ask too much. There is no glory in this. I am sorry. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you oh, feel? Shit, us. I still can't believe you killed, sir. Sorry. Jory was warned that there was no turning back, as were you all. When he went for his blade, however, he left me no choice. It brought me no pleasure to end his life. The Blight demands sacrifices from us all. Thankfully, you stand here as proof. They are not all made in vain. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. Death is never easy to accept, especially when it arrives in such a brutal fashion. Honor your comrades if you wish, but know that we must press forward. Always we must press forward. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Loghain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Caelan. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. Oh, but you are. Every Grey Warden is needed now more than ever. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. 
The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then... You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we Circle of Mage... We will not trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the uh. Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. A bit of foreshadowing. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Tern Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the King's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. We soil our drawers, that's what. If it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all.